Is the best way to learn Greek to take just an online course, to self-study, or what about using the membership, or what about even going to seminary? Which of these four choices is best, and maybe it's not best for everybody, but which of these four choices is best for you? Well, let's break them down and talk about them in this video. Let me jump into a PowerPoint presentation that I prepared earlier to help just sort of illustrate this and make it really clear, okay? Let's walk through this. So let's start by talking about learning outcomes, okay? And the question here is, what are the outcomes that these different approaches are trying to bring about, okay? So that's a really important question to ask. What do you want to get out of this? Do you want to be able to study the New Testament in the original languages? Do you just want to read the New Testament in the original languages? Well, that's going to make some bearing on what you're going to be able to do here and which one of these is going to be best for you. So let's ask the question, first of all, if I just want to learn to study the Greek of the New Testament, which of these is going to be the best? And you can see here, self-study doesn't really teach you to study Greek and nor do online courses. Now, I put a little number next to those because there's a sense in which you're going to learn the grammar and some of the necessary skills to do exegesis here, but they're not really geared to get you studying the Bible, at least not in that beginning Greek phase. Now, seminary, I've put a yes here because even though they aren't always going to teach you beginning Greek and enough in beginning Greek to be able to study the Bible. That generally is the intention that they have for you. And then often will have the idea that once you've done beginning Greek, then you're able to study the New Testament. And often there's, there'll be exercises included in the seminary curriculum to help bring that apart, around. Now, of course, with the Greek Master Membership, which is a GMM there, that is our choice as well. We want you to be able to study the New Testament in the original language, which means we want you to pick up an exegetical commentary. We want you to be able to read that and understand the technical jargon that's going to be in there. That's part of what we want you to be able to do so that you can study the New Testament like a scholar, essentially. All right. So that's what we want you to do there. Uh, so that's studying the Greek. What about reading Greek? And this is where it starts to take a bit of a turn. Again, self-study in online courses, not really. Seminary, no. This was one of the reasons that I started Biblical Mastery Academy, because seminary didn't teach me to read the Greek, and I did want to read the Greek. The self-study in online course, again, you can actually kind of use the beginning Greek of a self-study or online course, or even seminary to that matter, to sort of give you a kickstart. But then you need to figure out how to read it for yourself beyond that. And there are some tools now, uh, for instance, the Greek vocab pack that we sell will give you the vocabulary to read through the New Testament book by book, starting from the easiest books, going all the way to the end, uh, to the hardest books. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you're interested in checking that out for more information. But generally speaking, within the beginning Greek course itself, no, it's not geared around having you learn to read. By the time you've finished beginning Greek and the Greek mastery membership, you will be able to read 1 John in Greek without looking any words up or anything like that. So that's part of our goal and part of our purpose in the Greek Mastery Membership. What about grades? Well, you don't get any grades with self-study, online courses, or with the Greek Mastery Membership, but you do get grades with seminary. So if you like grades, well, seminary is probably going to be your best choice. If you really don't care about grades and you just want to learn the language and learn to study, then, well, seminary is not necessary for that, right? What about a program that goes beyond beginning Greek. Do Is this something to consider? Well, again, one of the things I think you want to consider very carefully is if you do want to go beyond just the beginning Greek course, because beginning Greek is really just beginning Greek, right? It's not going to take you very far. It's going to give you the basics, and that's about it. So if you want to go beyond beginning Greek, and if you're doing beginning Greek, it's not because you want to stay in beginning Greek, it's because you want to go beyond beginning Greek, then you are going to want to think about, well, what's next beyond that? And a self-study and online course is just going to get you to kind of the very edge of some level of competency with Greek in the New Testament, but not going to take you much further than that. Of course, the Greek Master Membership, we've got a whole program that's going to take you so that you can read through the entire Greek New Testament fluently. And with seminary, typically they don't have that same approach, but they do have the idea that they're not expecting you to finish necessarily at beginning Greek. Now, this differs from one seminary to another, which is why I've got a little hyphenated or number three there. The idea here is that some seminaries don't really offer Greek at all. The ones that do, they will often require a first year Greek requirement, but then they may not require anything beyond that. They may not even provide anything beyond that. But those are the sorts of things you want to check. Does the seminary provide further education in Greek beyond beginning Greek? That's an important question to ask because Theory seminary should, they should teach you Greek exegesis at the very least, which is another two semesters normally after your two semesters of beginning Greek. But 
that was something you want to check into. And again, with the Greek Master Membership, yes, we have a whole program, like I mentioned, fleshed out to take you all the way through from knowing nothing all the way to reading the New Testament in the original language and being able to study it with depth. Okay, so there's a big difference there. What about completion rates? Well, this is kind of fun because one of the interesting things about people who start to learn Greek, and I fell into this category as well, on their own, is that very few people actually finish beginning Greek on their own using the self-study method. Those who purchase an online course, they would like to finish it, of course, as well, but the completion rate with online courses is actually incredibly low. Uh, this is one of the big challenges and one of the reasons why we have a membership rather than just offer courses because we want you to be successful. Now, our completion rate is higher than an online course, but in my opinion, not high enough. The completion rate in seminary is much, much higher. And I'll talk about why that is in just a minute. Just because a seminary will lead to a high level of completion, like 75, 80% of people who start a beginning Greek course in seminary will likely finish it, which is the highest of all of these uh, quite easily. But just because you achieve that completion rate does not necessarily mean that that's always a good thing. If we consider things like retention rates, on the other hand, this is where things really make a difference. How many people who go through seminary keep their Greek after they finish seminary? And the answer to that is not very many. In fact, this is a number that is low. And I would say this is the same with self-study as well and online courses. My experience with people who go through and self-study the way through beginning Greek is that they struggle with confidence after they finish beginning Greek. And so they go back and they start going through another Greek grammar and they, you know, they still get to the end of that and they still haven't really got this down. And this is why we created Master New Testament Greek, the Greek vocab pack, and now the whole membership to give people that confidence and to move them forward so that the retention rate is high rather than low. And again, the same thing with an online course, because it's only going to take you so far and then you're kind of left on your own. And so what are you going to do if your level of skill with something is such that you actually don't have competence? Are you going to continue to slave away and labor away? Some people will, and good on them for doing that. And if you're one of those people, well, congratulations for being one of the few who do. But many people do an online course, and they won't finish anyway. And of those who do finish, many of them will forget the Greek within a few years. And so I want to encourage you, again, it's not just about completion rates, it's also about the retention once you're finished as well. And because we have a good clear program, we find that if you finish beginning Greek, there's a very good chance you're going to go way beyond that inside our membership. You're going to be reading multiple books of the Greek New Testament in a few months after finished beginning Greek. And of course, that means you're much further ahead and much more likely to retain it. Now, if you want to get a copy of these slides, then I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go do that or just go and jump to bma.to slash compare, bma.to slash compare. So that's learning outcomes. And if any of those things are important to you, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you down below there. And if this video is helpful, hit the like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to find more great content just like this. Now, the next section then is about support. What kind of support are you going to get in each of these different environments? Because this is another really important factor to bear in mind. So let's look at support. We see here, first of all, we've got accountability. Do you have any accountability when it comes to self-study and online courses that are just like you buy the course? And the answer is no. You're left to yourself. I mean, the nice thing about this from the point of view of the course developer or the, the person who's written the grammar is they write the grammar, you buy the grammar, and then it's up to you to do the rest, right? So you don't have any accountability. With seminary, they give you a stick. Namely, if you don't do this course, you're going to fail this course, and you're probably going to fail your whole MDiv program or whatever it happens to be you're sitting. So there's a stick behind you to make sure you get that done, and that really lights a rocket underneath you to, to make sure you get it done. So you want the degree, you're going to go do it, right? Well, in the Greek Mastery Membership, it's more like a carrot, in the sense that we are really trying to encourage you to make, make keep making progress toward mastery, and we do this by you know, putting you into a community and sharing with you some of the success stories of other people on a continuous basis, as well as encouraging you in your own love for Christ as you go. This is really why you study the New Testament, why you study Greek, right? You learn Greek in order to be able to study the Bible to grow your love of Christ. And we know this, and this is what we want you to do. So we want to continually put that in front of you so that that's what drives you on to master the Greek of the New Testament. Now, the other thing that's important here from a support point of view is that when it comes to learning Greek, there's what I come to, what I've sort of referred to here as a starting wall. There's like, it's like an obstacle course, right? But the first obstacle is a six foot high wall that you've got to climb over. And 
with each of these self-study online course and seminary that first week it's like this huge amount of stuff you just have to take in it's not broken down and there's a lot you just have to learn all at once well we give you what's called a five-day challenge and in the five-day challenge we'll teach you just the basics that you need to know in those first five days now we're actually going to be changing this in the near future we're building our own beginning greek course so this is going to the three-day challenge it's going to be will then become the way everything works in the whole course so everything in the course is broken down into small consistent bite-sized chunks but that's for the future for the moment we give you the five-day challenge and somebody i got an email just today or a message from somebody just today saying that they had made more progress in the five-day challenge than they'd made in all the, op the previous attempts to learn either using self-study or online courses. So this is a really important and helpful tool for really making quick progress and getting over that starting wall as quickly as possible. Another thing that's really important when it comes to support is structured time with instructors. Okay, so you want a Greek instructor, someone who knows the language well, who can help you through. And in seminary, of course, this is what they call class time. You go to class, the professor will stand up there, he will lecture his way through the chapter, talk about it, you'll ask questions, you can answer those, and so on and so forth. In a self-study, an online course, you don't get that. And in the Greek Mastery Membership, we do it a little bit differently. We give you a video with an explanation of what's going on in the chapter, but then you get to sit down and go through the exercises with a professor, with an instructor, a Greek instructor. And the idea of that is that you go away, you learn, and then you fill in the forms and the worksheet that we give you and so on, I'll talk about in a moment, and then the instructor sits down with you and goes through everything that you translated so that you can understand it and come to grips with how the grammar and the language is actually working. So this is really helpful as well. I think it's a little better in some ways in a seminary class because it's after the fact. And of course, there are some seminary professors, a good seminary professor will lecture for a little bit and then they'll go back over last week's homework or they'll go over last week's homework and then they'll lecture for a little bit or they'll break it up into sections whatever it is so this is how seminaries tend to work and we do this also in the greek mastery membership but what about unstructured time with instructors now this is where again a membership is really helpful we have what's called office hours calls we have two of these every week and basically you can jump on this and ask any question about greek as long as well, there's no restrictions. Just ask any question about Greek. We'll try and figure it out on the spot for you if we don't know off the top of our head. So uh, again, self-study, you don't get anybody to help you with this. Same with an online course, typically. Seminary, you can talk to a professor while, uh, you know, in between classes and things like that. You can book a meeting with them. So in that sense, yes, but they don't really cater for it on a regular basis where we do inside the Greek Mastery Membership. Uh, what about community? Well, inside the self-study and online courses, typically there isn't a community associated with those. So you're gonna to go to a Facebook group or something like that, and you're gonna ask questions there. And of course, people aren't gonna have that same context. And so you're less likely to ask questions there as well. Seminary has an integrated uh, community in the sense that you've got a whole bunch of other students going through the same course with you. And that's really helpful. But if you're in an online environment and the courses are all completely online, you're not meeting with students at all, then you're not going to have that. So that's why I've got the little number one there to indicate that I'm integrated for the most part, but not always. And of course, in the Greek Master Membership, we have a Greek community of people who are going through the same process as you, many of whom are well ahead of where you are uh, inside the membership for you. And you can ask any questions and day or night and pretty much within an hour or two, get an answer on that question uh, and a good knowledgeable one as well. And finally, when it comes to support, what about additional exercises and development? Well, for again, for self-study, online courses, and for seminary, you tend to have whatever the grammar and the workbook give you. And while we work in the same way at the moment, again, when we create a new beginning Greek course, that's gonna be different. But for the moment, we work similarly to that. We still have the grammar and the workbook, but we create structured review. We, cre we add extra exercises uh, to what you're doing on a week by week basis to help you learn. We're gonna recommend apps to you and also support you even as you use those apps as well. And this really streamlines the whole process of getting your head around how you know, how to learn Greek, the actual process and tools that you need to be able to do that. Whereas otherwise you're just left with, here's a grammar, here's a workbook, go. And you've got to figure it out all on your own. That's how I sort of learned Greek as well, as I came to this point of like, well, how does this all work? How am I supposed to learn all this stuff? And so what I found was that by developing some of these materials, it really does help students to take consistent steps toward mastery. Which leads then to the last section I want to talk about, which is the methods being used and the price 
and comparing those. So let's talk first of all about time allocations. Uh, with each of these, with self-study and online courses, it's self-directed. It's up to you to allocate your own time, and that's great, right? You can do these as quickly or as slowly as you want. With the Greek Mastery Membership, it's kind of the same, self-directed if you want it, but we also have cohorts, and you can join a cohort, and if you find that cohort's too fast, what well, you can jump into another cohort when that sort of at the stage where you kind of get lost, you can work at your own pace, it's entirely up to you. So it's very flexible, uh, and it gives you that option of working with a group or working at your own pace. Seminary, of course, on the other hand, there is a schedule to keep, and you've got to keep up with that schedule, which makes it quite a regimented approach for learning Greek, which can be challenging, but also can be quite a good stick, again, if you like sticks. Uh, there's also the frameworks, and again, this is similar to what we saw last time when we looked at um, uh, support, but really you've got whatever the available grammar gives you, that's the framework you're going to be using. The difference with seminary is that they are typically the locations where the grammars are created. So in a sense, the way it works in a, uh, in a seminary is that the accreditation bodies then drive the seminaries to create a grammar that's going to work for them. So they have all of these constraints, which then creates the grammar, and then the online courses and the self-study person will pick that up. And of course, they'll work through that as if this is the best thing to do. The difference with the Greek Mastery Membership is that we actually ask the question, how are our members going? Are they making progress? And if the answer to that is not as much as we would like, then we are going to look at how can we improve this, which is one of the reasons why we're building our own beginning Greek course. Smaller, easier to do lessons that are going to make you move faster through the program are going to be much more helpful when it comes to things like, you know, just developing through that process and getting, you know, getting you through beginning Greek. So we don't want you stuck in beginning Greek forever. We want you to finish that. So we're gonna innovate as well. And we don't have some of the restraints like seminary does of accreditation bodies that are gonna constrain the kind of innovation we can do. We can ask different questions, we can come up with different solutions, and we can do that because, well, we're invested in your success. And that brings us to then the cost. And of course, you probably know that seminary is easily gonna be the most expensive option there. The price is going to vary a little bit. I put 1200 to 1800 US dollars uh, just to go through beginning Greek. Now, of course, if you're going to go through self-study, the great appeal of self-study is that it doesn't cost you very much. You spend a little bit of money on a grammar and maybe a workbook. Maybe it's $50, maybe it's $80. Actually, beginning with New Testament Greek is about $25, $30, somewhere around there. So it's going to vary depending on which grammar and which approach you use. Online courses can cost around about the $200 mark. And of course, the Greek Mastery Membership costs a little bit more. We, part, we charge $550 per year. However, in a year, very often, members can make far more progress than just finishing Beginning Greek. So, you know, you're not paying $550 just for Beginning Greek. You're paying $550 for however much progress you make in a year. And of course, part of that is that there is actually an additional cost to go beyond beginning Greek. So for instance, in seminary, if you want to do Greek exegesis, well, you're going to pay another twelve dollars to $1,800 for that Greek exegesis set of courses too. Again, if it's just one semester, it'll be less, and it just depends on the course. Uh, if you go to self-study and online, well, there's not any real options there. You actually have to come up with, well, what am I going to do next? And the cost to do that could be variable. Uh, it could be at that stage, now I'm going to go to seminary and spend another twelve dollars to $1,800 to do Greek exegesis, and that's fine. Whereas with the Greek Mastery Membership, all of that is actually part of your membership. You don't pay anything more for it. When you finish beginning Greek, you just move on to the next stage and you just keep building your knowledge. So that's it for a quick rundown of some of the difference between self-study, online courses, Greek Mastery Membership, which we offer, and Seminary. And I'd love to hear from you. Which of these have you do you kind of prefer and why? And if there's something not up here that you think would be ideal that includes those original goals of studying and reading, uh, knowing the grammar, being able to get into the Greek exegesis and all that sort of thing, then I'd love to hear from you in the comments as well. Let us know what you think you'd like to see. And well, we'd love to hear from you. It'd be really cool just to know uh, what we're missing as well. Uh, we're always looking at how we can improve, how we serve. And so it's always great to hear from you and get your ideas on how we can do a better job of helping more people learn to read the original languages so that they can get deeper, more clarity, more confidence in the Word of God and grow in their love for Christ. That's what it's all about. That's our mission and we'd love to serve you as well. Now, if you want to get a copy of these slides, then I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go do that or just go and jump to 
bma.to slash compare, bma.to slash compare. And I look forward to sharing that with you and serving you again, perhaps uh, another day on another video. Until then, don't forget to hit the like button. That helps more people find this video. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, take small consistent steps toward mastery. See you there.